Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Myself Varun. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the solution of this linear programming question. Uh, the management of Hartman company is trying to determine the amount of each to produce products to produce over the coming planning of the period. So this, there is a small information uh, concerned labor availability, labor utilization, product profitability. So they have provided a tabular format where we can see uh, each department wise uh, the profit uh, uh, A, B, C and then they have some numbers over there and their profit contribution as well. Now in this question they was uh, in parts. So first A part is to develop a linear programming model and then in the part B, uh, we need to compute the profit per contribution uh, per unit. And uh, there are some logics. So uh, how to suppose that overtime can be scheduled in some of the departments, which departments would you recommend? So we need to provide some recommendation as well here in this part. And for the C part, uh, again, uh, the variables are again, change for the overtime and uh, in the scheduled departments a b and c respectively and the cost is also in, uh, changed uh, that is 18 dollar in department a 22.5 in b and 12 in c then we need to provide the formulation of linear programming model that are used for the optimal production quantities if overtime is made available so now uh, we have used Excel solver to provide this question solution. So here we have used two variables. First is X1 and then again X2. X1 is for units of product produce and then uh, X2 for units of product to produce. Maximize is 30 X1 plus 15 X2. These all are the variables X1 and X2 that are already derived from the question itself. Now here, uh, these are the decision variables, x1 and x2. These values are coming automatically from the solver, this one. And then we have constants c1, c2, and c3. Now here, uh, we have used Excel formula for the used for uh, used variable. And the, the, these are the variable constants that we have derived from the question itself. Again, our no, uh, after providing the solution and uh, using solver, our total profit is 3284.21. And then, then the part B. So the dual price is 15.79 for department B and for uh, B is 47.37 and C is 0. So this is for the part B solution. And then uh, we have, this is the part C solution. So uh, they have modified some of the values in that question already. So we have used again here. Uh, these are the variables that we define. This is the maximum. And again, these are the decision variables. Now here we have used ABC because they have provided that one. And uh, these are the constraints. Again, we have used solver uh, to reach our solution. So after using the solver, our profit is 3341.34. And now as uh, in part C, uh, we have increase in profit from overtime that is 3341.34 minus 3284.21. This was the previous one. So uh, 57.13 is the profit that we have increased from deriving this one. So this is all for the question. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and uh, I will be providing you the Excel uh, solution uh, you can just reach me out from my email address or I uh, or WhatsApp. I will be sending you these details in my in the description part of this video. And thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.